guys! Welcome back to my channel! Thank you so much for being here. I just got back from Cuba. I just did an Instagram Live, and in case you missed it, I just wanted to film this quick video for you. Very impromptu. Um, it's like 11 p.m. I just got off the plane. But I wanted to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you um, for connecting with me, for valuing me in more ways than just my physical presence, than my outfits that I wear, than my beauty that I, that you guys say that I emulate. I want to say thank you for connecting with me spiritually and thank you for weighing me and valuing me on a deeper level than just this appearance and just the material items. Thank you for actually seeing me as a soul and a spirit and meeting me on this spiritual plane and accepting me as who I am, as a crybaby, as uh, just someone who struggled and talks about their struggle and just thank you so much for embracing me. I feel really like you just are giving me a big big hug where you just squeeze me so tight and I feel so accepted and I'm just so grateful that I have you and have people in my life who can really accept me and value me as a human being, as a spiritual being, far more than for just my looks, far more than just the following that I may have, far more than just the clothes that I wear, the aesthetically pleasing outfits that I present. I am just so grateful that I have people in my life that I know after all of that fades, after this style fades, after the fashion trends, and after my skin is wrinkled, I am so grateful that I have people in my life who will still look at me the same and cherish me the same and still value me the same. Um, after we realize that that doesn't mean anything. I think it takes like a long time for a lot of people to realize that uh, certain societal norms don't matter, that certain um, judgments don't matter, but I'm at that point, girl. I'm at that point where I just, I want to be recognized for more than just being pretty, for more than just having a good fashion sense. And I really feel like you guys connect with me in that way, that you register that and that you feel that. and. Um, it just makes me feel limitless because yes, these looks are going to fade and these fashion trends are going to pass and one day I won't want to keep up with it. One day, you know, I won't care anymore what I look like, what I wear and my soul will still be there. This same spirit that I've gone on this long journey with, this 19 years with and I still have much longer um, to explore with, hopefully. Uh, will still be there and I'm so excited because I love my spirit and I love the journey that I've been on and I love the fact that I can love and nourish myself and my spirit and that's just what I see and that's what I focus on and sometimes I'm put into social situations where people don't want to talk to me or don't want to befriend me because of the way that I look but I'm like I'm such an awesome person in here if only you could just see past my horrible outfit today if only you could see past my baggy eyes and my sweatpants you know you would really realize that and I'm just really glad that there isn't any pressure for me to be a certain way and that you guys will let me and love love me to, that's not a sentence, that you guys will let me um, really show my spirit and that you will accept it and I just really feel like I'm connecting with you spirit to spirit and that makes me so happy and I just want to attract more of that in my life because honestly like some days I don't want to identify with anything, a sexuality, a sexual preference, a style, a hairstyle, a face, a look, I don't know, I don't want to identify with anything and I just go out into the world having no like connection to a certain thing, even my appearance. I talk about this randomly sometimes, but how I'll look in the mirror and not recognize myself or just feel like the thing in the mirror is a foreign being and that happens to me some days and I like to just go out in the world and just be a spirit and um, I love that I can run into you on the street and you still feel the connection. You can still be like, oh, that's a Tomi. And I don't feel judged. I don't have to worry about what I look like because there's so much more inside. And I'm so glad that there's so many of you who do recognize that. And I just wanted to say thank you. I'm so happy that's possible. I'm so happy that I can feel and listen and speak and touch and understand and connect. I'm so happy for that. And I want to say thank you so much for being here. And 
this is the most genuine thing. Like, I am just exuding with so much gratitude and every time that I Instagram live with you or just have any conversation where we're going back and forth, I feel so much good energy. Do you guys feel that? How amazing and limitless it feels? Like, I just feel so much love and I feel so much non-judgment and that is what I crave. That is what I'm after. Um, like Emma says, I'm seeking purpose, not perfection. And it's so freeing when you let go of the weight of judgment, the weight of other people judging you, the weight of feeling the need to judge others, which is really you probably projecting your own insecurities onto them. But it's so good to let go of that. It's almost like an anxiety to look good for other people, to wear certain clothes for other people. And when you just start living your life for yourself and uh, listening to your spirit and nourishing your spirit as the number one most important thing. It is so freeing and so full of love and um, I'm gonna upload a bunch of videos in the next coming days. I don't know why I can't really talk right now because I'm a little flustered and overwhelmed with love but um, this is just a quick message, a quick thank you, a quick reminder and I'm just so grateful and I just wanted to speak that and put that out on, onto the internet. Um, sorry if I sound really spacey or anything, I've been traveling all day, woke up kind of early and, um, like, didn't eat any food because airport food is expensive, man. But, yeah, I just, like, I just ate so much curry. But, <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you, um, and I truly mean that, and I want you to feel valued for far more than any physical, tangible thing. I want you to be valued for just the essence of your being, the true essence of your being. It's just what's inside and I want you to be valued for that so much and I want you to realize that is the most important thing and that these things will fade and these things will pass and our faces and our bodies will change so much and I don't fear death, I don't fear aging for the most part. You know, I'm not worried about it. I know I'm young now and it's easy to say that now but I'm excited to embrace the changes and um, find the awareness of growing older and becoming wiser and it's just a really big weight off my shoulders when I don't have to like worry about that stuff and when I am in love with my spirit and can realize that I get to spend the rest of my life with this spirit and like learning new things and educating myself and reaching new levels. Ugh, I'm just so excited and I want all of you to feel that weightlessness. I want you to just feel like all that pressure is lifted off your shoulders, all those expectations from other people and um, all those connections and attachments to certain material things. I just really want you guys to know what that feels like to just realize how not important it is <laughs> and how the most important thing is your soul and your being. And yeah, I'm talking mostly about like clothing and appearances um, I know there are other expectations like regarding school and homework and that's like a completely different thing but I'm talking about just material objects that people weigh and that people value you for, you know, the way that you look. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. Uh, and I hope you have a good night. Bye!